this is looking through the north right now. You can clearly see so there's some harping going on there. To anyone that still has the ability to think rationally and logically and logically and rationally discern information and data that's been published, you would know exactly what this is. And if you look at your local Doppler radar, you'll see exactly what this is from above as well. That is a weather modification tool. It's not natural. I won't debate that with anyone. Carry on. If you think that is all this natural condensation forming in the sky there to the north. Yeah. Now, let's take a look here towards the west. Oh, pretty much more of the same thing. Yeah, try not to step in any dog poop out here. But uh, clearly you can see this is looking directly to the west. California has had several long-standing, long-term weather modification research groups actively deploying their projects and their systems for decades. There's no denying that. The information has already been published, and anyone that is denying it is a complete and total ignorant tool. And because I'm repetitive, I'll say it again. This is not natural. This is being influenced by man. And if you think otherwise, you seriously have no ability to logically discern information or, or rationally observe the world around you. You need help. Yeah, because that's just a contrail, right? Wow, yeah, you can see the shadow effects even happening. Because there's so many particulates that have been injected that these contrails will cast shadows on them clouds because of the reflective particulates. It's just... There's just no denying it. You can't deny it. And if you do, and it just means that you are either a bot or you're being paid to say that. Because if you really truly believe that, oh my gosh, you need to just go back deeper into the matrix and leave reality alone and stay away from those of us that still have the ability to logically discern information. Seriously. And there's some more... There's plenty of waves going on right above us, too. Oh, and there's another one trying to sneak through there. Mm -hmm. There's some serious harping going on up there. Again, take a look at your Doppler radar right now over the southwest U.S. and you'll see these same patterns and these same waves and they're being influenced by man and by machines both ground level and space based. It's not natural. Okay, so now you see to the west and above us Let's go see what's going on here to the south. I'm 
I well, don't have too good of a view from the south in the backyard here, but you can kind of see there are some waves going on there over that little very large solar array field to the south. One above us. So now let's go take a peek at the, looking to the east. shadowing going on there. That's not natural. Those shadows being cast by those contrails, as some people like to call them, is not natural. That's an effect from their direct aerosol injections and direct influence and manipulation of our atmosphere. And there's another one laying down their little mission. They're just doing their job, right? That's not a, a contrail. And YouTube's context tags are false and misleading and dangerous. And the way they are programming the AI to respond to this type of information and these type of images um, being shared is very dangerous for all of humanity. People really need to call that into question. They are programming the AI to see this kind of stuff right here as just a conspiracy and as just contrails. They are providing cover by programming the AI to respond to this in that manner. And that is very dangerous for humanity. What else will they be able to get away with by programming the AI to convince the people that this is just a contrail? And that all of this is just perfectly natural. Oh, wait, no. Uh, that's right. They released information about the sun popping off more flares, right? Well, how convenient. So this must be from the sun flares, right? This is deep space influence, right? Yeah. I'm not playing science fiction games with people anymore. If you're here to... And influenced this that's just so frustrating that's about all I got to say about that just if you're here to speculate on anything other than uh, weather modification projects actively being deployed across our country right now you need to run away from my channel as fast as you can because I'm not I'm not here to fantasize I'm here to expose exactly what's going on so that people can make fully informed decisions on how to move forward as far as approaching this whole global warming and rapid climate change. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not taking the blame for any of the damage that's been done to our ecosystem for my consumption and my carbon footprint. I won't be taking any blame for that today. 
Not today or not in my lifetime. Nope. And anyone else that's taking blame for it, you're just, you're just, just a, a, an ignorant tool. Plain and simple. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Keep believing this shit's just a contrails, dumbasses. Okay, so who wants to help sponsor a weather modification project, everybody? We could have our own weather modification project, don't you know? All we gotta do is just contact this Weather Modification Incorporated. They have a fleet built for success. They seem pretty reputable. I mean, for, you know, something that's just a, a conspiracy theory and it's actually not real. Uh, this place here has been doing some not real business for a while. Weather Modification Incorporated has been modifying and operating aircraft for cloud seeding and atmospheric research operations since 1961. Yeah, that seemed pretty reputable. We maintain and operate a fleet of more than 35 twin engine aircraft in various configurations that meet the needs of every client. Weather Modification Incorporated uses several miles of aircraft in our own operations. Although we can adapt our equipment to virtually any type of aircraft for specific customer needs, Really? Hmm. Weather Modification Incorporated has the following aircraft types in service and available at this time. Look at that, folks. We just got to pick us out of an airplane. You know? And they can modify any. Even if, we, even if we could find ourselves, we could go and find us like a an old junkyard fixer-upper plane, right? Then we can take it to these guys and they can modify it for us. If you operate your own aviation fleet, we can provide custom modified aircraft to match your specific mission requirements. Or we can modify your existing aircraft to perform the operations required. Our talented team of experienced technicians facilitates the entire process from design to modification to U.S. Federal Aviation Administration standard certification. Hmm. Weather Modification Incorporated can also perform any necessary maintenance required or upgrades requested by the client during the modification process. Yeah. Some of the modifications that we currently perform are VIP transport, photographic equipment, remote sensing, environmental monitoring, telemetry, atmospheric chemistry, cloud physics measurements, air ambulance, and cloud seeding. Weather Modification Incorporated has, inquired, has acquired U.S. FAA Supplemental Type Certificate for select seating equipment on the following aircraft, Hawker 400, King Air 350, 200, and C-90. The STC ensures that equipment is built and installed to the highest aviation standard for safety and performance. Yeah, we can provide air and ground staff for a turnkey program. Yep, big old money maker, huh? Unparalleled support from our maintenance and flight department assures smooth operation for your project. Support is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week around the globe. Woo! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let us locate, evaluate, and facilitate the purchase of a suitable aircraft for your needs. Let's do it, folks. Let's start a fun. Let's get our own weather modification project up and going. Let's find a good spot. Let's find a real good spot that we can make it rain. Let's make it rain, everybody. Yeah. Just a conspiracy, my ass. Fuck all y'all. Weather modification and weather warfare and deniers. <laughs>